Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Bashem Rakak Wadash. My name is Yakabo from Plain Tables Camp in Philly. You know, words speaking, spoken in good season. It was health to your, your body, your mind. But the counsel of a crazy man is going to make you an enemy of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Chris Rock should do. This is this would be my counsel to him. Chris Rock cannot beat Will Smith in a fight, more than likely. Chris, uh, Will Smith trains for action movies, and he's probably well trained with all kinds of martial arts and fighting styles and guns. This is what, but if he truly wants revenge, and Chris Rock must get revenge. This is GMS Watchman's channel. This is a response to Elder Apostle Recall, his video and GMS Watchman's video. The spirit of Christ, he has to do. It. Must get revenge. He truly wants revenge, and Chris Rock must get revenge. And the spirit of Christ, he has to do it. Or else he won't be a man. Let me tell you what my counsel, if Chris Rock was a man under my supervision, this is what I would counsel him to do. This is the only way Will Smith should un would understand. Chris Rock cannot fight him. Chris Rock cannot assault him. But you know what Chris Rock can do? Chris Rock can fuck his wife. And that's what he should do. He should do that. He should buy some of that good heroin he should buy some of that good heroin. They got good heroin down here in Kensington. Kensington got excellent heroin, excellent cocaine, pure it in New York. He should get some, some of that weed from California or some of that cocaine from Philadelphia. And he should go and he should go and talk to Jada Pinkett. You know what he should do? He should befriend her son. He should go make friends with her son. He should come over to the house and say, listen, I want to squash this beef. I'm sorry about what I said about your head. You know, that was wrong. Me, me and Jaden here playing video games here. He should start playing with Jaden Smith. And he should fuck the shit. Jaden Smith is a, a sodomite weirdo. It was almost at the end. That's, uh... Me and Jaden here playing video games here. He should start playing with Jaden Smith. And he should fuck the shit out of Jada Pinkett. If you see something, say something. So that was the uh, the wise counsel of ISUPK, and people were laughing. I mean, I I don't see what uh, part of that was like funny. I mean, committing adultery that's wholly inappropriate to to say. You no, know, in general, and especially you're supposed to be sitting in a seat as one of the, say, the rules of Israel. All right, this is uh, and a good example of someone's counsel failing, or Hitler fell. All right, when Absalom, Absalom uh, mutinied the kingdom, Second Samuel's fifteen thirty one, and one told David saying, Hitler fell is among the conspirators with Absalom. And David said, O oh, Yahweh, I pray thee, turn the counsel of Ahithophel into foolishness. So now he's pretty much, or well, ISUPK is pretty much a laughing stock amongst uh, the, the men that understand the law, all right? Which was still in effect, all right? It's not, you, you can't go out and commit adultery, all right? You still have to give wise counsel if you're among the prophets. You can't speak as a damn uh, fool causing Israel to go off. All right. That's not becoming of a prophet or becoming of a teacher. All right. A teacher of, uh, you know, under Yahweh and his son, Yahweh Shai. All right. Well, he said in Christ anyway. So that's not even, that's not even Yahweh Shai. That's, that's a different uh, spirit. All right? And we supposed to reject the different spirits that go out. All right. So counsel. Turn the council of Hithophel into foolishness. You got I Taza, which means advice purpose. So this was his advice. He said if he was under uh, 
his authority, paraphrasing what he said, that, that's the advice he would give him. All right. So what is, what is the Lord doing to IHUBK? He's turning their counsel into foolishness. Man, I ain't look up foolishness. Look up foolishness. All right. This is advice you don't want to take. All right. These men are crazy. Uh, this is why we, we, we're completely separate from these other other camps. All right. We got uh, uh, Sakal, a fool, turn into foolishness, actor do foolishly, play the fool, foolishly, unwise, stupidity. That was a stupid, stupid statement. No part of that. That was totally uh, unprofessional. All right. Fool. Turned into a fool. So he, he literally became turned into a fool right on camera. All right. Let's, let's play that again. Chris Rock should do. This is this would be my counsel to him. Chris Rock cannot beat Will Smith in a fight, more than likely. Chris, uh, Will Smith trains for action movies, and he's probably well trained with all kinds of martial arts and fighting styles and guns. This is what, but if he truly wants revenge, and Chris Rock must get revenge in the spirit of Christ, he has to do it, or else he won't be a man. Let me tell you what my counsel, if Chris Rock was a man under my supervision, this is what I would counsel him to do. This is the only way Will Smith should un would understand. Chris Rock cannot fight him. Chris Rock cannot assault him. But you know what Chris Rock can do? Chris Rock can fuck his wife. And that's what he should do. All right, so that's the uh, the council. That's the purpose. That that's that's what ISUBK. ISUBK. Uh, that's that's the spirit they're in. All right, and it's nothing new. We're not surprised. So that's, that's how they get down. You know, that's that's what they teach. Of all, of all the things he could have said about the that little uh, situation was for him to get revenge by fucking his wife. All right. Well, what he should have said they should have just met met up and uh and worked it out. Whether they go, they, whether they was going to, you know, get into a fist fight, or whether they was going to talk about it, and uh, reparations was going to be made, you know, and monetarily or like a some type of uh, fav favor, like a like a, a part in a movie or some shit like that, you know. But him, his counsel was to commit adultery and seduce his wife. That was that was the counsel. This is why you cannot befriend people with wayward doctrines, and you have to be separate from them. All right, or else you get caught up in in a, in a, a debacle like that. That's, I mean, that's demonic. All right, so you go to the seventeenth chapter, and it tells you uh, why Ohithophel gave that terrible advice, which was uh, to go meet get David with twelve thousand men. And then uh, David's friend, uh, uh, Hushai, uh, said, nah, you don't want to do that. Which he was telling the truth that, you know, David meant and would have slaughtered you. All right. So this is what the what the purpose of the Lord giving, Absal uh, giving uh, Ahithophel that advice to Absalom. It says a second, that bad advice, Second Samuel 17 and 14. And Absalom and all the men of Israel said, the counsel of Hushai, the Ar archite, is better than the counsel of Ahithophel, for Yahweh had appointed to defeat the good counsel of Ahithophel, to the intent that the Lord might bring evil upon Absalom. All right, so that counsel that this these men are given, this is this is for his destruction and to his congregation's destruction. All right, because Ahithophel got defeated. I mean, he hung himself, and Absalom got defeated. He got actually ended up getting you no know, murdered, you know. And David took the kingdom back. Now you can read, you know, between uh, fifteen chapter and seventeen chapter and beyond to find out, you know, what was the end result. But those men that were with uh, Absalom got defeated and Ohithophel got defeated 
I'm going to take you to the 18th chapter. What was the result? Let's go, let's go to it. It's Second uh, Samuel 18, 18 chapter. So David divided the uh, the battle up to the, the different generals, Joab, uh, Abishai, and Ittai. All right. So Second uh, Samuel is t- uh, 18 and 6. So the bad counsel of Ahith- Ahithophel, well, the bad counsel that the Lord uh gave Absalom through David's friend all right helped David so he could defeat him all right so when David went out to battle they were under the counsel of David's friend so the armies of Israel got defeated and Absalom and Ahithophel were put to death in the process, 18 and 6. So the people went out into the field against Israel, and the battle was in the wood of Ephraim, where the, where the people of Israel were slain before the servants of David, and there was there were a great there was a great slaughter that day of 20,000 men. For the battle was uh, there scattered over the face of all the country, and the wood devoured more people that day than the sword devoured. All right, so they lost. All right, so the kiss council was defeated, and Absalom was deceived into uh, uh, fighting in a manner in which David had the advantage. All right, so that's what b- bad counsel can lead you. This is Luke fourteen eleven, and they, they're proud. I mean, they they don't have a humble bone in their body, and you can tell by by the way they teach. There's no reservedness you know for um to be humble all right though we speak with authority you know we always leave room for you know to be humble all right because you're supposed to speak with authority all right but you're also so uh, uh supposed to speak in a manner in which we are under the authority of yahweh shy all right and he get, gives us the word to speak luke 14 11 for whatsoever for whosoever exalted himself should be abased and he that humbled himself shall be exalted all right but statement what what are, what are exalt exalted statements that john thought the truth if you if he tells you a, a breakdown you have no right right to ask questions you you believe whatever he tell you to believe that that's how they uh how they teach now, if we tell you a breakdown we'll give you the precept upon precept you know, or if, you know, it's only one precept, we'll say, well, we believe it by faith. All right. But they say it in, in, a, in, a, in a demonic, evil, authoritarian manner. All right. Meaning like tyranny. All right. There's no sway like for, uh, for like uh, to re a reason, you know, like to, like to figure it out. Like look, search here, search there. And, you know, no, no whatever, whatever they say is just they just t- t- tyrants. All right, especially when, you, when something's hard to understand, you know, you may not be sure, you know, they're fucking tyrants. All right, abased to be ranked below others who are honored or rewarded, and that's what they are right now. See, and it keeps getting worse and worse. And what scriptures say, the evil men wax worse and worse. All right, that's abased, all right, because they they exalt themselves, they exalt themselves. Uh, wickedly all right he's not magnifying his office and saying uh, good things he's magnifying his office and saying evil things all right we have 14 minutes all right moving on matthew 5 19 whosoever therefore shall break one of the least commandments you know verily i say unto you till heaven and earth pass not one jot or one uh, title shall in no wise pass from the law all right so he's talking about getting revenge via adultery. That's not a damn joke. We got people laughing in the back. Like that's not, you. You are a, a leader in Israel, all right? Amongst IHUBK, all right. Whosoever therefore will break one of the least commandments, or whosoever therefore shall break uh, any commandment, and and a least one. And a small one, and 
shall teach men so, he shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. And so if you teach the commandments, you know, mixed with faith, you have a higher ranking. What do we got here? You got small, the least, least in authority, uh, least in authority, in authority of commandments, all right, and rank of persons, a, a predicated of rank as belonging to. So when you teach Israelites to break the commandments, you, your rank in the kingdom of heaven is going to be lower, all right, because all Israel is going to be are going to be saved. But two thirds in, in America are going to be destroyed, all right, and they're going to be uh, reincarnated back through the elect of Israel, all right. And then when they come back, they're going to be the lowest rank, all right. And teach men so he shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven, because all of Israel is going to be delivered, all right. But the heathen, they're going into slavery, they're going into complete slavery. This is Ephesians four and eleven, and he, and that's the contrast. Ephesians 4 and 11 and he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and some teachers for the perfecting of the saints what part of that speech was perfection perfecting the saints or edifying to the body not not one part getting revenge by via adultery all right for the work of the ministry for the edifying of the body of Mashiach all right no, we we tell you the biblical name, how it was said, because we're Hebrew Israelites. Hebrew the language, Israel, uh, Yashar Allah is our nationality. Uh, so we so we uh, invoke these powerful words to bring remembrance into your mind of who we are. All right, which are we the greatest people, the chosen people of the Lord and Master of the universe that created everything. We're the chosen people. All right. So we invoke those that spirit by using uh, key words like Mashiach, Yahweh, the Father, and Yahweh Shai, the Son. Uh, till we all come to the unity of faith. So how is that unifying Israel under the faith, uh, the elect of Israel? How is that unifying the elect? It's not. And of them, and of them, and of the knowledge of the Son of the Power, and to the perf perfect man, and to the measure the statue of the fullness of Hamashiach. Yeah, so continue to edify until our bodies are renewed perfect when we deliver. All right. So we'll get to the to, to perfection when Yahweh Shai redeems our bodies. All right. So right now we're teaching you know, the good words, all right, to perfect your spirit. All right. This is Ezekiel 34, prophecy against the shepherds of Israel, the false prophets. Uh, and the word of Yahweh came to me saying, Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. Prophesy, say unto them, thus saith the Lord Yahweh unto the shepherds. Woe be to the shepherds of Israel that feed, that do feed themselves. Should not the shepherds feed the flock? Yeah, this, no part of this was feeding the flock that's going to bring, gather the elect. All right, this, what this speech is going to do this is going to basically embolden the base men that are amongst this group and have them continue in wickedness. The little wickedness that they're doing secretly is going to embolden them. Instead of rebuking them, it's going to embolden them. Because you have a lot of base men amongst Israel that don't really take the word seriously. So the more leeway you give, like the, the lower men, the, the worse they're going to be. So you're not feeding them with the with the word. It's going to gather them. You, the word is actually going to uh, push them farther away from the shield, from the protection of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. You eat the fat, and you clothe you with wool. You kill them that are fed, but you feed not the flock. All right. The disease have you not strengthened? So no part of that is, is aiding the weak in Israel all right? or aiding uh, brothers that need you know, knowledge to hear a good word that's going to uh, increase 
their their uh their well being, increase their knowledge. Neither have ye healed that which was sick, neither have ye bound up that which was broken, neither have ye brought again that which was driven away. But by those, his words, right, that this IHBK uh, leader is saying that that's driving away Israel. So it's doing the opposite effect to gather Israel together by the word. Because uh, this this word that he's that he's uh, putting out that's that's going to cause the, the Lord to de to uh, destroy and cause uh, suffering amongst their flock. All right, the disease have you not strengthened? Neither have you healed that which was sick. Neither have you bound up that which was broken. Neither have you brought again that which was driven away. Neither have you sought that which was lost. But with a force and with cruelty have you ruled them. All right force and cruelty we got force we got kazaka kazaka all right and that's definitely violent with what he's saying to commit adultery vehemence to display strong passion in a bad sense which was committed adultery with the uh, with, <laughs> with uh will smith's wife all right that's definitely violent. Have you ruled the people? We got that we got parak, harshness, severity, cruelty, to fracture apart. So, when you speak these false prophecies or, or these false uh, this this bad counsel, you're actually breaking breaking a flock apart because they're not if they're not gathered together under the word. When the Lord returns, He's going to cast them into the fire. All right, the ones that are gathered by the word are going to be gathered into the barn and delivered. All right. It says, uh, a drag net, Matthew 13, 47. Again, the kingdom of heaven is likened to a net that is cast into the sea and gathered of every kind. All right, so the Lord gathered, I asked you, PK, get all these camps, which when it was full, they drew to shore and sat down and gathered the good into vessels, but cast the bad away. So this is an example of a bad counsel that the Lord did not speak for the benefit of the elect. This was spoken for the destruction of two thirds because the elect can, can clearly see that this is bad counsel. All right. So shall it be at the end of the world. The angels shall come forth and sever the wicked from among the just. All right. So uh, we're definitely being separated uh, by the words that we speak. Uh, and the Lord is getting, gathering the good and casting the bad away. That's Baruch 4 and 37. Lo, thy sons come whom thou sentest away. They come gathered together from the east to the west by the word of the Holy One rejoicing in the glory of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh that's how we're coming together. All right, we're coming together through the word, through good counsel. All right, not through that deceit that's going to fail, like the counsel of Ahithophel and Absalom. They fell, all right, because the Lord was against them. You, know, you betrayed what the the rightful leadership, and the Lord from that day set out to destroy Absalom and Ahithophel. So the Lord is going to do the same thing to these different uh, camps that are evil all right that teach wayward doctrines the lord is going to get rid of all those camps that teach those wayward doctrines all right and that's how you know that that's one clue that we got the truth above these other camps we tell you that there's going to be judgment amongst the false prophets we tell you that all right and we're not teaching you to the the, the purposely break these laws these certain laws that you, know, you can you know mitigate and that you can you know, completely keep all right and it's not for any person in israel to teach you to openly break these commandments all right this is luke uh, titus uh, 2 and 14 who gave himself for us as yahweh shai the sa our savior that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people 
zealous of good works. These things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority. Let no man despise thee. So if we see another camp that's behaving in a way, that's teaching in a way that is not pure, that is, that is alongside the, the same spirit that's in the scriptures, we got to rebuke that camp. All right. This is how you know, because that we have the truth. We're, we're rebuking the evil when we see it. All right. Openly. All right. Now, if they make a video retracting the statement, then uh, they can do that. But when have they ever retract statements? That was, this is an evil, demonic, wicked spirit to put out to the congregation to get vengeance via adultery. All right. Where did Yahweh Shai teach that? In what gospel? In what law? It's not, it's not in the scriptures to behave in that manner. All right. So where we at? I think I finished all the precepts. All right. So just like the council of Ahithophel, the prayer is going up. David prayed the prayer and we prayed, prayed the prayer that the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh the Father, Yahweh Shai the Son, destroys all these camps that teach wayward doctrines because there can only be one. In the end, there can only it's the only one spirit that's going to survive. It's either us or it's going to be them. So this is our prayer, 2 Samuel 15 and 31. And one told David, saying, Ahithophel is among the conspirators with Absalom. And David said, O Yahweh, I pray thee, turn the counsel of Ahithophel unto foolishness. All right. So hope you edified. Shalom. Chris Rock should do. This is this would be my counsel to him. Chris Rock cannot beat Will Smith in a fight, more than likely. Chris, uh, Will Smith trains for action movies, and he's probably well trained with all kinds of martial arts and fighting styles and guns. This is what, but if he truly wants revenge, and Chris Rock must get revenge in the spirit of Christ, he has to do it, or else he won't be a man. Let me tell you what my counsel, if Chris Rock was a man under my supervision, this is what I would counsel him to do. This is the only way Will Smith should un would understand. Chris Rock cannot fight him. Chris Rock cannot assault him. But you know what Chris Rock can do? Chris Rock can fuck his wife. And that's what he should do. He should do that. He should buy some of that good heroin. He should buy some of that good heroin. They got good heroin down here in Kensington. Kensington got excellent heroin, excellent cocaine, purity in New York. He should get some, some of that weed from California or some of that cocaine from Philadelphia. And he should go and he should go and talk to Jada Pinkett. You know what he should do? He should befriend her son. He should go make friends with her son. But that good heroin cannot fight him. Chris Rock cannot assault him. But you know what Chris Rock can do? Chris Rock can fuck his wife. And that's what he should do. He should do that. He should buy some of that good heroin. He should buy some of that good heroin. They got good heroin down here in Kensington. I just noticed something. Why is he even talking about drugs? I don't know. What, what, what's the reason of him talking about drugs? I, I don't. I didn't get that. He just started talking about drugs. So I guess he's promoting in the process of, ha of committing adultery with, 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 the, with Will's wife, well, she's a whore anyway. She's an adulteress, adulteress anyway. Just because she's a, an adulteress doesn't give you being, you know, in a congregation to further commit adultery. All right? He just randomly starts talking about drugs, which is just what the, defiling your temple, destroying your body. That was weird. All right? So this, he's a complete demon. All right, complete, completely uh, uh, going against the gospel, going against the, the repairing of, you know, the broken Israelites' minds, all right? Whatever the hell he thinks he's doing. Kensington got excellent hair. He should do that. 
He should buy some of that good heroin. He should buy some of that good heroin. They got good heroin down here in Kensington. Kensington got excellent heroin, excellent cocaine, purity in New York. He should get some, some of that weed from California or some of that cocaine from Philadelphia. And he should go and he should go and talk to Jada Pinkett. You know what he should do? He should befriend her son. He should go make friends with her son. He should come over to the house and say, listen, I want to squash this beef. I'm sorry about what I said about your head. You know, that was wrong. Me, me and Jaden here playing video games here. He should start playing with Jaden Smith. And he should fuck the shit out of Jada Pinkett. If you see something, say something.